Maybe this was just me playing on my own after the the the, the YouTube game. Oh well, let's just keep going anyway. <laughs> uh, I started in the Central Valley, not on the plateau. Different, but about the same progress. See, that's what I was checking. I was like, oh, our save, uh, we got more whiskey and chocolate coming. Our save with like Soul 9, we didn't have anyone landed yet. Um, this looked about right, so I just like loaded it up because it looked about the same. All right, let's just keep going anyway. Um, what if Earth is flat and Mars is the other side? Now see, there we have someone thinking. There we have someone thinking. Whiskey and chocolate, oh, it's cool, man. I'm dead free in two months. Hey, congratulations. So happy because of that. Also surviving Mars, green planet, becoming more like terraforming Mars. Well. You guys do know I love the board game Terraforming Mars, and uh, yeah, this is sort of like bringing all my loves together, which is just wonderful. Anyway, let's go ahead and unpause the game. We'll, we'll start looking at what the situation is. So what we've got over here, uh, we are playing as the new um, sponsor. Yeah, the new sponsor, Terraforming Initiative over here, um, which is... Uh, I hear some more noise. I feel like I, I hit something else that I missed. Um, Terraforming Nation, new sponsor over here, which the big thing with it, it gives you Terraforming Techs are 50% off. Four station plants don't require power. Um, and we, we can import DC or RC dozers from the start. So when you're flattening and building ramps and stuff, your drones can do it, but these dozers do it much faster and easier and don't use up your drone supply. So we actually even start with one. And we start with the four station tech and some spe and another tech unlock here for terraforming special projects, which we'll look at in a second. Um, it's Banana Cabana! Easy solution, terraform new map to look like the old map. Yeah, I should open the other save. I'm really confused. I was like 100% sure I'd open the right save. But yeah, I had had to do like, I think I'd started a recording and then there was something that wasn't right with it and I started over again. We were on Soul 9. I must have, I guess I didn't actually save the game the last time I played. We'll start playing again in a second. Because it wasn't this, right? No, that's Soul 2. Yeah, I didn't I didn't save it, and I, I must have overwritten the uh overwritten the autosave. Or I'm bad at this game. Uh this map only has one rover. Hmm. Oh well, we'll find out. Anyway, uh we've got a ship that's ready to take off. I guess we could probably do that. What are we researching? Soil adaptation? I guess that's fine. Uh yeah, go ahead and uh and take off over here. I think we're about ready to accept some people. You know what I'm, I wonder if what I had done, no, I'm really confused. This was definitely a recording, just not the right recording, I guess. All right. Um, hey, we launched a rocket from Mars. What are our milestone situations? Ah, I've gotten all the milestones so far. Nice. So we want to get few, first humans on Mars, which should happen, I think, once our rocket goes back. Oh, the research degree is so different looking. I'm just, I'm so happy with this. Like. It's weird, like they, they, I think they changed the layout of the research screen to add a new column for terraforming here. But to me, this is just so much nicer and more usable, isn't it? Like this sort of vertical scrolling, because you could scroll with the mouse wheel and it would scroll sideways, but it didn't, I don't know. This just feels better. There's a couple of little things like that. Um, there's like, oh, there's a new, uh, there's a new dumping site, a large dumping site over here, just, you know, to hold more stuff. Um, and there's also a little sort of set up self-sufficient dome over here. What it's going to do is automatically going to place a small dome, a moxie, some moisture evaporators, water tower, oxygen tank, food depot, power cables, and a pipe just to like save you some clicks. It's exactly the same as a regular basic dome, except it just puts down some more things, which is kind of handy. Anyway, let's bring the speed up a scooch here. I like liking, make more liking. So we've got a forestation plant over here. and because of who we are, because we are a geoengineer, which is the new commander profile, um, our, uh, sorry, I'm thinking the wrong thing. 
Because of terraforming initiative, our forestation plants don't require power. So we could have it off in the middle of nowhere. It's complaining right now because it's out of seeds. But one of the things it has done, I already have had it go and start spreading some seeds and getting some lichen out here. And this is the overlay that shows you the soil quality. And But if we mouse, if we zoom in rather, we can see some lichen starting to grow on the Martian rocks. The lichens are pretty easy. They can grow most everywhere and they start to generate a little bit of soil. They have no requirement <coughs> for, you know, temperature or atmosphere or anything like that. Um, however, um, the next level, so if we want, oh my gosh, we're getting whiskey and chocolate. Oh my. Monkey Biz, hey, finished watching your Space Y run and bought the game. You're a bad influence. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my God. And in the chat, I'm liking the sound of that. You're terrible. You're terrible. Uh, <laughs> uh, later on, the forestation plant will be able to place, place or place plant. That's what I'm looking for. Grass. Oh, well, what it does, it sort of rotates and just sort of spreads seeds. There's grass, then bushes, then I think coniferous trees, not carnivorous, but coniferous. And then there's like a mixed forest or mixed tree type of thing as you improve things. So we've got these values over here, but I quite like if you go to the planetary view over here, you mouse over overall terraforming progress, um, you can see uh, the, the different milestones. So like if you get your temperature above 50%, cold waves just end. Just done on the cold waves. More lichen equals more lichen puns. So you need to build as many lichen plants as possible. Um, oh, okay, so we have a, this is not our mystery. We have sort of a mini event going on right now with research cooperation um, and um, yeah, research the uh, the Analyze Deep Space Telescope data tech to continue. I'm really confused because I thought I'd done all this in the video. Maybe I uploaded the wrong video. I don't know. It's fine. We'll just move on. Everything's going to be okay. Uh, do you need to research tech to have trees with throw apples at intruders? Banana Commander, I'm, I'm very, very confused by what you're saying, but sure. Uh, so we have a breakthrough over here so we can research the Analyze Space Telescope data. I don't know what the reward for that will be, but it's kind of interesting to consider. Mars crowdfunding for a dose of money. Here's where we can unlock the ability to produce greenhouse gas factories. Although, as a commander profile, geoengineer, we start with two prefabs for greenhouse gas factories and two prefabs for forestation plants. Because greenhouse gases will allow us to develop the atmosphere and increase the temperature of Mars, which is gonna be very handy. In fact, there's even a special project that we um, start with, start unlock right away with this particular sponsor, is to import greenhouse gases from Earth. <laughs> we just start scooping up the pollution from Earth and dumping it on Mars. Hey, it works. The video just abruptly ends, so maybe. <gasps> wait. No, wait. I did upload the wrong video. It's whiskey and chocolate. I did upload the wrong video. That, mm, uh, let me, uh, there we go. That explains everything. Like it abruptly ends. That's why I had to start a new recording. Cause I did have to sort of start a second recording. Cause at some point I sort of mess things up. Um, and I accidentally, the, the recording stops because here's the thing that happens. I have, no, no, don't export now, cancel. We'll kill the stream. I'll fix it later. Um, I have, uh, if you hit home, you reset your view in uh, Surviving Mars over here. Except on scroll lock is my key to um, start and stop my recording. So every now and again, when I hit home to reset my camera in game, what I accidentally do is kill my recording by hitting scroll lock instead. So that recording got messed up because of that. So I started a new recording, which is what this game is. Now I understand what the problem is. Okay, I thought I was going crazy. It's not that I'm crazy, it's just that I'm kind of incompetent. So let me actually make a slight change here. We are, and this also explains why there's a Soul 14 save. 
So this save here is going to be the continuation of the proper video. I don't know, whatever. We'll just leave the other one on. Resources are low. Let's just commit to our mistakes. All right, try this again. Um, or is this one screwed up? Oh, we got a payload ready to land. Yeah, see, I'd gotten some fractures. So this is just slightly further ahead in the gameplay. We've got some people down. Let's just continue from this because we can get some more actual terraforming going on. There are no mistakes here, only happy accidents. There you go. Thank you very much, Bob Ross. So we'll continue from here. And then I'll fix the video on YouTube so you can get the whole continuous story over here. No one ever accused me of being particularly uh, good at my job. So yeah, I had a meteor storm that fractured my dome and I actually didn't have any polymers to fix it. So I just shipped a giant spaceship um, here from, uh, from Earth, mostly full of polymers so that we can fix it. Get some ranches. Yeah, well, we don't have, right now, we don't have the population base for it, because I, well, I want to start with the farm. And the reason I want to start with the farm is because um, it was a pretty good food thing. But yes, we're absolutely going to get ranching once we're past the founder stage here, and we can bring in more people. Because right now, we have 12 people, and we have exactly 12 jobs set up. So we have six people working the farm, all botanists. Hey, hey, hey. Um, and uh, diner, what I'm running here, very cool little trick at the diner, turn off a couple of the uh, the work slots over here, just one person in the first shift and one person on the second shift, and do the same thing at the infirmary, and then get your, your, your grocer down. That's exactly 12 jobs, which is exactly your founder stage, which is kind of wonderful. I think I also shipped out some more seeds over here, so we've got the forestation plant is working again. Seeds are up here, 19 seeds in our storage currently and they're being delivered over here. So we're doing a little bit more terraforming, a little bit more faster. Let's take a look at our technology situation here. Yeah, in here I did finish the Analyze Space Telescope data. I knew I wasn't crazy. I was just, you know, dumb and uploaded the wrong video. Uh, which is funny because Paradox actually approved the uh, the new video, but I, I, I'm, I'm suspecting that, that someone didn't watch everything. So I'll just get it sorted after the stream. It's okay. Oh, it's in the queue. So I haven't actually analyzed the space telescope data yet. We're currently researching the Earth Mars initiative, which is very important because it increases sponsor science by 100, increase our tech rate. Okay. Yeah, the research screen has changed. I think there's gonna be a lot of people that come in partway through the, uh, the the stream a few minutes after we've started here that like, oh my God, the research screen, it's so good. The other thing, and this is something that I'm not gonna be able to demonstrate right now, but you can shift click anomalies for your explorer to visit now, which um, which is not in the base game. So that's really nice. We've also got an RC Explorer over here. There we go. We're gonna tell it to pick up a bunch of metals and just bring it over. And we're gonna develop. So I got a little starter base. Everything is lovely, wonderful. We're just waiting for some polymers to get... Oh, okay, you're empty. Before I send this guy back to Earth, are there any planetary anomalies for me to scan? Yes, there are. You can also shift click the transport rover, yes. And it's in the base game with this patch, yeah. But that's the thing, this patch, um, someone who's got the um, who's got the game without Green Planet, have they updated the technology screen in the base version of the patch as well? Or is it only if you've got Green Planet and therefore have the terraforming column? I'm kind of curious about that. But yeah, there's a bunch of little uh, UI improvements that are in the, the free patch, even if you don't have the, uh, the expansion. Yeah, see, that's what I thought, yeah. So it's like big, big game changes. Just oh, so good. There's a couple other things I'm trying to remember. There were things I was noticing when I was playing. Some new some new buttons you get hit on something. Oh, I do want to give you a word of warning. If you are playing with Green Planet and you have seeds, either because you have grown either because you have grown seeds in your farms or hydroponic bays or because you've imported seeds from Earth, do note that the Universal Depot over here does not have a slot for seeds. Because it had, like, it's it's got a certain size, and that's that's all it's got room for. They'd have to, like, they'd have to change the model of it, which I have to have a different size, and then wouldn't fit as well. I mean, I guess they could have a Universal Depot version 2 that would be a different size. Feels awkward. So you have to make sure you have a dedicated storage for seeds over here, because the Universal Depot does not cover that. So keep that in mind. Gives it in very universal. Yeah, they almost have to like rename it now. The almost but not quite Universal Depot. But yeah, I, I was confused the first time and I'm like, yeah, what do you do? Because you'd literally have to make the depot a little bit bigger. So it'd have to occupy another hex. 
which would then break all your layouts. All right. Yeah, that's that's. There's not really a, a good thing for that unless they make it so that like that doesn't visually represent what's in there. But no one wants that. So yeah. Uh, as long as you're ready for it, you're okay. All right, so I was thinking about checking out some of these special projects. So we do have a, like some fancy things. We can now launch a SETI, a SETI satellite over here. So it costs you metal and electronics and a bunch of fuel and gives you money. You can capture meteors and this will trigger a meteor shower. It'll trigger a meteor shower somewhere on your map. They're always random. It might happen to be right on top of your colony. It might not. Of course, meteors, a bonus is they tend to bring metals, rare metals, sometimes polymers maybe, and they can trigger anomalies. So there's some value in this. I guess maybe if you've got the uh, the laser defense system, the MDS, right? Is that what it is? Um, to, uh, to protect your actual colony, then it might be okay to do this. Uh, we can do a high-speed comm satellite over here, which gives us 400 science for completing this. That's a lot of material for 400 science. Whew. And yeah, the import greenhouse gases, capture ice asteroids to increase the water level on the planet. There's so many things, but right now I just want to do some of the planetary anomalies. Send 10 drones, get some research progress. Heck yes. Let's send you over there. Um, send an RC commander. Do I have an RC commander? No. I have a dozer, an explorer, and an RC transport. We'll have to ship over an RC commander, though, because it's useful to have around. Send any eight people to get something unknown. This might screw up our farming. Oh, that's 400 per soul permanently. <laughs> oh, I was wondering about that, actually. Because I'm like, I didn't want to say it because I didn't want to start guessing, but I'm like, 400 doesn't seem like a lot. 400 per soul forever makes a lot of sense. So that's like, it's building a mega project. Send any eight people, send any eight people. Do we want to send eight people to some unknown project? Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Let's do it. This isn't going to be a disaster. So yeah, some of our buildings won't work because the people are going to be away, but that's going to be all right. We got a little mine set up here, but I don't, I have it turned off, so it's not going to get constructed because I, um, I, I don't have the people to work this job right now. Again, we'll have to wait for the founder stage to finish. What are you whining about? Are you, storage space is full. Well, that's a pretty legitimate complaint. Let's get a concrete depot set up right there. And then some drones will have to go in and help out with that. We can't get more people currently. That's right, we cannot currently get more people. Oh yeah, so if we send like eight people out and they all die, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, transport, I think I sent you here in the last game. Okay, you're gonna load from here, load everything, and then try to deliver it over there. Excellent. I got my RC Explorer, which has finished that. Come back over here. Yeah, the dozer. What do we wanna do with the dozer? I guess we'll flatten a little bit more terrain around where we are. What do you guys think? 400 science per soul, definitely worth bringing the electronics over. That's true. We do have a fair amount of money right now. We could just go and invest in the material to be able to launch the satellite immediately. Let's get the dozer to come over here. Just flatten this out a little bit. Get some room going on. Get starting to ramp down off the plateau. Maybe, the thing with the ramp is that while it does let your um, your your RC explorers and things get up and down, um, you can, and you can run power cables, but aren't, is it? I'm trying to remember, um, if you try to do piping up and down a ramp, it like, yeah, it, it doesn't like that, right? Although, apparently this is fine. Oh, maybe you can pipe a little further than I expected. The first oh, we have our first colonner with a gambler. Trade. Yeah, let's go ahead and ramp down. Is there an area that seems better? Actually, probably just here, because it's sort of in the middle of the map, or at least in the middle of the plateau. I think right over here we'll try to ramp it. Can you flatten under buildings? Well, buildings have to be placed under on flat land. Um, but would they get in the way? That's actually a good question. If I do something like that, yeah, blocking objects, so no. But you just like sort of flatten around them. It might take a little bit more clicking, but you can get there. So we're gonna ramp. You gotta start from a flat place. You could change the size of the, uh, the brush that you're using for things. I think for this small is okay. If we want to build a ramp from here to here, 
So we would need... Well, that's interesting. The total waste rock would gen... This would generate... Um, actually, that would generate only 40 excess waste. Because it's probably going to use, like, it's going to, like, need to shave away hundreds of pieces of waste rock. And then also place down hundreds of pieces of waste rock to finish the ramp. But in the end, it's almost, this project is almost totally going to break even. So I'm going to tell this dozer just to come over here. He's going to start working on it. I'm going to go and bring this down low priority because if this is within range of drones and it, it can be, uh, well, that's mostly these, um, the, sh the rockets over here, the drones, I don't want them to spend a bunch of time working on the ramp. We'll just get the dozer to do it. It'll probably need some temporary dumping storage, say there and there for the waste rock. Ah, oh, 81 waste rock. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> it's going to be okay. Um, but yeah, that's actually going to be kind of nice. But we'll actually see this like develop over time. And then, yeah, we can run the RC Explorer down here to pick up the science, which is probably um, anomaly developed by a um, um, just a meteor that fell or something like that. Now the tunnel is useless. Well, I, I don't think the tunnel is useless for a couple of reasons. Um, because you're not going to be able to build buildings along this ramp, you can't put little drone hubs on here or anything like that, right? So maintaining all the cables and stuff could be a pain in the butt, and um, you might not be able to get the um, the pipes all the way down there because they, they don't they don't want it to lie on a ramp. They can sort of go a fair amount of vertical distance, but there's limitations and things like that. So this is going to enable our RC vehicles to go, but I think we're still going to need tunnels very much, 100%. Yeah, so we're playing as, I should probably have it in the West game, the Terraforming Initiative and the Geoengineer, both of which are new. Geoengineer makes importing seeds really cheap, which I have done over here, which is why we are currently doing a little bit of plant-based terraforming right over there. Mm-hmm. Small flat, I don't, the thing is, I don't think I can, I can make flat sections once we're here. We'll see. When this develops, we'll check to see if we can develop little flat areas, but to flatten what you have to do is you have to start from a flat place, because it needs to sort of know, like, what you're going to end up at. You can't sort of start on rough terrain. You see, it's not flat. So you start from a flat place and then tell it. So we'll, we'll, we'll play that one by ear. Uh, let's bring the speed up. I do have a mod running so that I can run the game at 10 times speed, which is twice as fast as the normal maximum to make the videos more exciting. You can build cable and pipes on the ramp. I don't think so, Alchemist, because if you look over here, it's whiskey and chocolate. Um, and you can see uneven terrain. Oh, maybe I can. Uh -huh. Now, a part of it is I did try a couple of different builds along the way, right? Because I was having early... No, no, don't actually build it! I was kidding! No! It's okay, we'll just waste a little metal. It's not like that's going to drive me bonkers. <laughs> it was just a joke, guys! I didn't want to build it! Uh, so we finished the um, the Earth Mars initiative over here, so we get some extra sponsor research per day or per soul, which is great. We're analyzing the space telescope data. That's fine. What might we want to do next? We got this fifty percent of the progress towards the Dozer rover. I don't think that's a priority. Drone hubs get more drones. Actually, let's get that in the queue because I still have one drone hub prefab over here. So I would like to wait before I place it until we've got that upgrade. And yeah, the sensor spam thing is really good too. Um, I'll add it to the queue for sure. This makes it so that sensors don't require power or maintenance, which is super duper handy. We can load a bit of material on our transport, um, our little ARC transport, and then just like bring it up to the site. Speaking of which, we could probably, we actually have tons of metal in storage. Maybe I don't need to worry about, um, to, ah, no, right over here. Um, please to load resources from here, and please to be delivering resources over here. Thank you very much. So you're just waiting for fuel, right? Are you waiting for drones? You're waiting for people. You're still unloading polymers. I guess I never put down a... Um, I should probably put down a polymer depot over here. So I'm betting that wasn't there wasn't enough space here. So you're just waiting for drones. Is it possible we don't have enough drones? We only have six drones on the planet. That's why we can't run it. And then meanwhile over there, this was waiting to unload the polymers. There we go. So that mission's going to go. Guys, everyone 
say a little prayer to the random number generator gods that we don't lose our colonists. Because going from 12 colonists to 4 would hurt a lot. Do, do, do. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't a fuel depot. It was the polymer depot for here. And here we literally don't have enough drones. Do, 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 do. So there we go. Landscape in progress. That's come along quite well. And yeah, it's nice that we're not generating a ton of excess waste rock. Oh, treasure hunt. Qua. Following a signal of exact mathematical sequences, the expedition... Oh, the people we just sent has discovered a tiny probe buried in the sand. When approached, the, pr the probe projected a, a message of complex ciphers and codes. It's definitely something of human origin. No aliens there, for better or worse, but the question still remains. Who put it there? What is the message? What is the purpose of all this? Effect, new technology has been revealed, the cipher. Research it to decode the signal's meaning. <laughs> if I was a futurist, I've read enough sci-fi to have some ideas. We'd get a discount. Now, this is still not our mystery. There's just a whole 